Hey everyone, it's Chelsea and I'm back to film another video. Tonight I wanted to cover with you my nighttime skincare routine. Now, I think it's probably the worst day I've, I could have ever chose to film my nighttime skincare routine, partly because my face is just a hot mess right now. I am going through so much stress. I've had, um, next to my breakouts, I've had a breakup. Work has been crazy. I've been trying to find an apartment, so I've just had so much stress and it's led to a lot of breakouts and just issues on my face. I probably shouldn't be touching my face right now, but that's just my little disclaimer. I'm not saying I have perfect skin. This is just my nighttime skincare routine that works with, you know, my kind of combination to oily skin. Um, most of the time I do get stress-induced acne. It's just a part of my body um, chemistry and how my body reacts to stuff. So I'm not, I don't have too much acne um, or other kind of issues with my skin normally, but it's just the stress that really makes the stuff flare up. But I will show you my nighttime skincare routine nonetheless. Getting started with what I do before I wash my face. I will wash my hands first because I'm a contact lens wearer. I wear contacts 95% of the time, so whenever I'm touching my contacts, I, I, I'm kind of a germ freak. I need to have clean hands. So I will wash my hands um, with soap and water, dry them off, and then I'll take out my contacts put them away, and then I'll move on to the next step, which is <clears throat> taking off my makeup. Very important, guys. This step can be done in a multitude of ways. Currently, I am using the Equate Rejuvening Micro Exfoliating Cleansing Cloths. Now, these are a Walmart knockoff of the Olay Regenerous Micro Exfoliating Wet Cleansing, Cl cleansing Cloths. Um, I don't have a Walmart near me, so whenever I am out, and I'm passing by Walmart, I will definitely make it a point to stop in and pick these up. I picked these up under the recommendation of N Guerrero 19. These are great. They're awesome. They're kind of textured on one side and smooth on the other. They smell great. They're actually really effective. Um, very gentle. You can just kind of, you know, subtly, slowly, gently rub them across your eyes. Kind of hold them there for a little bit and they'll help just disintegrate any makeup, mascara, eyeshadow, and whatnot you have on your eyes. Um, they run about $3.99 for a 30 count, and I think compared to some other um, makeup removing towelettes, wipes, and whatnot I've tried, these are the most effective. I've tried ones that say they're very natural and they're just very astringent and very harsh on your face. I've tried other ones that are just laden with fragrance and they really are not that effective. You kind of have to sit there and scrub your eyes, which is not good for the skin that's so delicate around your eye area. So. Definitely recommend these as my favorite, current favorite makeup wipes. Now, if I'm wearing particularly stubborn makeup that day, long wearing stuff, waterproof stuff, I will reach for a cotton square and some pure 100% natural jojoba oil. This is just a natural oil, and yes, it is kind of messy and it is a pain to wash off, but it really is effective when getting off your makeup. So just pour a little bit on a cotton ball, cotton square, cotton round, whatever, and just hold it over your eyes. Okay, you don't need to rub, you don't need to tug, you don't need to hurt yourself. Just gently hold it over your eyes and simply wipe away. You will need to rinse with water to get the oil off. It's not going to disappear on its own, um, but, you know, it is effective. When I don't have these, um, I usually have the MAC Cleanse Off Oil, which is great. Um, it is another oil. I believe it contains jojoba and a few other oils in it, if I'm not mistaken. It is lovely. It smells like creme brulee. Um, and you just squirt a little bit in your hands um, and just kind of pat it over your face. Wait for the makeup to kind of disintegrate. Then you can wet your hands and rub and the oil will emulsify and turn into a kind of like a, a light oily froth. And that's where you can really work into your skin and really disintegrate the makeup off. So I love the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. I think next time I visit MAC I'm going to pick that up. Now, next step I take if I am having an acne flare up that day, I will proceed to an acne oriented cleanser. Uh, this is the oil free acne stress control power cream wash by Neutrogena. I'm almost out. I'm honestly not sure if I'll buy it again, but I think this stuff is pretty effective. It smells like kind of tea tree and cucumber and it's very cooling, but also slightly acidic on the skin. It can contains 2% salicylic acid, so it does have an active ingredient in it, and I feel like it, it does kind of treat, you know, the bacteria nastiness harboring in those um, acne sores that you have on your face. So I, I will use this. This also helps kind of get some of the oil off that might be left over from the jojoba oil. So I do that. 
Next up, I will actually do my real cleanse stage, and that I use is um, my Clarisonic Mia. This is the berry pink one. I think I have the deep pore brush head on it, and I will pair that with my Corez Milk Proteins Foaming Cream Cleanser. I've talked about this before. This is awesome. It is a natural um, oil-free cleanser. It is very rich, lathers beautifully. It's very foamy and it works brilliant with this. It smells amazing. It smells creamy, milky, um, just really yummy and good. And it doesn't leave the skin over dried or tight feeling. It just kind of leaves a nice, clean, slightly plump feeling. Um, just love this stuff. I think I'm hooked for life. <laughs> it's really good. So I definitely recommend that. Um, another cleanser I occasionally reach for, uh, you know, I won't do per se all these cleansers in one night, but when I'm feeling like I need a little bit more of, a little more attention or a little more of an exfoliation, I will reach for the Kiehl's Photo Age Corrector Deep Action Exfoliating Cleanser. Now this is a very gentle exfoliator. It smells kind of citrusy, kind of like grapefruit, and the granules are very fine and very soft. Um, it's a white kind of foamy texture, but I love it. Um, it definitely brightens the skin and tightens the skin, helps it just feel, you know, smoother. Um, so I only use this a couple times a week, you know, either once at night or once in the morning, but I, I definitely don't go overboard with this stuff. So yeah, you shouldn't do that with any exfoliators, to be honest. I mean, this tool right here is already pretty serious business when it comes to exfoliation. exfoliation. So um, don't don't overdo it because then you'll really have problems. You could have acne, you could dry your skin out, you could have all other kinds of issues. So when I'm done with the cleansing stage, I will come back to the rest of my makeup collection skincare setup I have here on my on my vanity and I will use, with a cotton square, the Boots Organic uh, Rose Water Facial Toner. You can find this at Target. It is a gentle, gentle toner that just kind of helps balance out your skin. Um, it's very soothing, very calming, and just rose water just smells so good. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know if it, like, helps disinfect or... I mean, it's not, like, a super effective toner, like, in, like, kind of treating the acne, but it's great. It helps just calm me down. It's great. Next, I will reach up for... Something I don't have. Um, generally, I'll reach for a toner. I mean, not a toner. Blech, just said that. I will reach for a serum. Now, I'm just kind of getting by on serum samples before I recop at Nordstrom next week. Um, I love Lancome's Genifique, um, Givenchy's Vaccine for Youth, as well as Dior Capture Total. So those are the three serums I will have at any given time. They're all super high-end, but I think they're pretty effective. You can always go to your um, counter at your department store and always ask for a seven-day sample or sign up on their website or Facebook fan page. Definitely try getting a sample before you invest. That stuff's expensive, but it, you know I think once you try it, you're a believer. Um, and I'm older than probably a lot of the YouTubers out there, so I, I think it's a really necessary step in my skincare routine that will speak volumes when I do get older and it's too late to fix those wrinkles. So I want to prevent as much as possible. So next up, I will move on to my nighttime moisturizer or night cream. Um, I'm currently using, well, this is another splurge item. It's the Dior Hydro Life Creme Sorbet Pro Genuse. Well, I just said it in French, guys. It's the Pro Youth Sorbet Cream by Dior. And this is a creamy, um, let me open it for you. A creamy, very creamy moisturizer. Just smells like a spa. I love it. Um, you scoop it out with a spatula. You know, it's not the most hygienic packaging, but gosh, it's luxurious. Um, this just kind of, you know, I pat it into the skin. I don't want to like rub it so it absorbs into my hands. I definitely just pat it into the skin um, and just let it soak up. It is extremely hydrating, even though for people with extremely dry skin, this could be marketed as an everyday moisturizer. I just use a, a, this at night because I have my daytime moisturizer that suit me just fine, and this was around 50 bucks, so I kind of want to conserve it as long as I can, so I am just using this at night, and I love it. Mm, I'll give that, that moisturizer um, a couple minutes to soak in just so the next product doesn't just slide right off and doesn't penetrate, you know, the layer of moisturizer or cream. I will next reach for Ola, Ola, I 
I think it's one of those. Ula Henriksen's Fresh Start Eye Cream. This is an extremely, extremely rich um, eye cream that is fabulous, fabulous for your under eye area. It is rich, creamy, super thick, super con concentrated, excuse me, <clears throat> super concentrated, concentrated, and it absorbs quickly. I feel like it's the most effective eye cream I've ever tried because my skin here does feel tighter after I apply this in the morning and at night. So I honestly don't know what else I can say about this. This is the best eye cream I've ever tried. It's awesome. It's paraben free. It is super effective. I'm sure it's a lot of other bad stuff free. Filates, BPA, I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but this is good stuff right here. Highly recommend it. So last off, I will do a topical treatment if I am experiencing some nastiness that I get, you know, around the chin, T-zone. Um, so I will just spot treat any acne I have at that time. And what I am currently loving is Mario Badescu's Drying Lotion. Now this is a calamine solution. So you see this pink powder here at the bottom of the, of the little vial. Uh, what you do is you dip a cotton swab in it, pick up a little bit of this calamine sulfuric powder, and pull it out. You don't need to shake it. Do not shake it. That will mess up the whole process. Spot treat the acne you have. And this just helps dry up any flaring, flaring um, volcano zits you have. I would not recommend... <coughs> excuse me, I'm dying over here. I would not recommend putting this over any flaky or already dry, dried up acne you have going on. Uh, because that will just make it worse. But this is great for treating those like really sensitive, really painful um, acne breakouts you can get. Um, and when you don't have this product on hand, a great um, alternative you can find pretty much anywhere is just pure tree, tea tree oil. Tea tree is like, it's been around forever. Everybody and their mom knows about it. It's just um, an all natural oil you can use to spot treat. It helps disinfect, stings a little bit. I would not recommend rubbing this in any broad areas, but definitely just the areas that you need, you'll feel definitely a, a tight, stingy, kind of burning sensation uh, when you put it on, but it is effective. So tea tree is awesome. I will use it. Um, you can also dilute some tea tree oil and it will be less painful. Um, so I'd recommend that as well. So that about wraps up my nighttime skincare routine. Then of course, you know, I'll go brush my teeth, do the floss, the mouth mouthwash and all that. Um, and I think that's about it. That's co That covers everything. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm like a freak. Um, it's really not that many steps. I can do it just in a few minutes. So it works for me, like I said, with the exception of the stress induced and kind of somewhat hormonal break, <clears throat> excuse me, hormonal breakouts you can get on your face. So I promise I have decent skin. Um, so this is just wor what works for me. I definitely encourage you to go to Sephora, talk to a beauty consultant um, or esthetician or a professional and see what they might recommend for you or try some samples out or, you know, get a makeover, see what they do on you. Uh, so that about wraps it up. I'll stop rambling. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.